Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Wednesday, November 30th, 2022. Boy, winding down this month already. Who would have, boy, it really flashed by. And it flashed by with kind of some interesting price action for us all to deal with. Today, we have a massive day of data coming our way that could change everything. So, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today with a, a lot of data coming our way that could spell significant volatility and could really create significant whipsaws and head fakes and all kinds of drama for the day. First off, let's take a look at these charts. I continue to mention here that the diamonds being the strongest of the index is the only one at this point to be able to break through that downtrend. And it's holding up very, very well in here. But the last couple of days, we've seen a little bit of um, uncertainty pulling back here to test some support in the chart but no technical damage done here in the chart as you can see kind of holding in there on that trend holding in on that support if we can find bullish inspiration today and that's going to be the question will it be the bulls or the bears that find inspiration today if we find bullish inspiration then we have a several hundred point move up here to retest that price resistance in the chart. If the bears, however, find um, inspiration today, well, we're right here testing that support pretty quickly. And we could, um, if that breaks, then we would look for a level down here. Now, unfortunately, that's gonna be six, 700 points lower if we do break that support level if those bears find that inspiration and it may actually shake market confidence here a little bit if that were to happen breaking down you know through trends so we'll want to watch that one pretty closely here on the day and honestly i have absolutely no idea how we might react to the data today um there there's going to be a lot coming our way i think and, and even after we get through the morning, um, then it's going to be the hurry up and wait for um, Jerome Powell's comments to determine the actual sentiment of the day. So be kind of um, wise as to how you approach this market today and be careful over trading because I think we could see quite a little bit of volatility as all of this data rolls out. Emotion could spill out in a lot of different ways here today. Let's take a look at our SPY, um, SPY. Little bit more of a critical situation here in the SPY. If you'll notice in here, if, if the bears were to be inspired today, um, well, first off, we tested this little level of price support in here uh, solidly yesterday, held it on that level but you would notice pretty carefully or closely if if those bears find inspiration today it'd be a pretty quick trip down here to test this level and with the pressure that apple is feeling right now um supply chain issues and and the issues of um uh, the things going on over there in china creating some um well some challenges for them on production um, um that has a pretty substantial impact on the SPY and the QQQ. So we'll, you'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now, keep careful, um, careful close eye on this because if the bulls find inspiration, then once again, I suspect we're going to test up into this area here and we'll be looking for that resistance to come into play um, in the chart. So watch those areas closely. Now, trend continues to hold up here in the SPY. So we have that going for us on that short-term upside trend. But on the other hand, we have, doggone it, 
um, this downside trend that we're still challenging um, um, us here on the SPY against that resistance. And I've mentioned this several times in the right way options room. I think this is going to be a critical level for the market um, um, sentiment, sentiment wise. Um, um, that 200 day moving average, a break above that will probably bring in a quite a bit of short covering and institutional buying could really start taking over. But if we can't breach that level, if we stay below and we're kind of seeing a lot of um, concern about um, recession next year, if we fail in this area, then um, we could also see um, kind of that trip right back down here toward that 50 day moving average. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at our QQQ and QQQ really sets on the most critical level of the markets today. As you'll see right in here, QQQ um, actually struggled and kind of, well, we, we sat right there on that little bit of price support, but just barely, we just kind of clung to it with a tips of our fingers trying to rally back up right at the end of the day. So this is the most critical of the day and we'll want to keep in mind we still have this lower high problem here in the NASDAQ <clears throat> and that lower high is <clears throat> excuse me also dealing with this downtrend still in the chart. So the critical point today is if the bears find inspiration it wouldn't be hard to see that the QQQ could drop down through this level and could really apply some downside pressure to the market if we start moving back down to retest some of these lows or price support levels down here. However, if those bulls find inspiration today, and I think it's about a 50-50 shot, it could be either way, um, <clears throat> we could see the QQQ run back up here and test this resistance level in the chart relatively easily. So. Watch that close. We've got an interesting situation here in the NASDAQ to deal with. Let's take a look at our Russell. Now, IWM was the only index yesterday that managed to put in a bullish close. The Dow closed, the diamonds closed up by one penny, uh, or closed down by one penny. So it was a flat move on the day. But um, IWM did manage a positive close yesterday, but I got a looking at that chart not all that confident and you can kind of see that critical level here in IWM as well. IWM is facing this longer term downtrend and price resistance in the chart and if we find that bullish inspiration well I would look for a press back up here maybe to retest some of that area or even see if we can break that downtrend in the chart but you could also see if those bears find inspiration it really wouldn't be all that hard to see um, that little bit of a downtrend starting to continue here to the downside and if we break that low here then we're going to shake the confidence in the market here uh, a bit so we're kind of on some critical levels here um, in the market that we'll have to watch closely today as this data rolls out now let's take a look at our VIX our VIX popped and dropped yesterday so we had a little fear come in early in the day but here again I've got to give this up to the bulls um, they are still in control here in the market albeit I think a little bit complacent considering the overall condition of our economy um, but watch that carefully here um, no worries in this market I think um, I think unless we were to break this trend and break some of these resistance levels that we see in the chart. So right now, VIX side, bulls in control. If we take a look at our T2122, there is some good news in T2122 with this pullback that we've had. We relieved some of the bearish, um, the overbought pressure here in the market, that short-term overbought pressure we pulled back in here toward that 50 percent area we rallied off of that area um, yesterday back to the upside so keep an, keep an eye on this because um, t2122 remember doesn't tell us what direction the market's going to go unless we're in the big bearish revol uh, bullish reversal zones or bearish reversal zones in the market but what it does tell us 
um, here is that we have about an equal chance. If um, bulls find inspiration, we've certainly opened up an opportunity to move higher. If the bears find inspiration, well, clearly we still have pretty substantial downside opportunity that could occur as well. So keep an eye on that. Now, when we look at T2107, in T2108, you're going to find that the bulls are still in control here. They're holding up very, very well with a pushback up yesterday um, in uh, T2107. The percentage of stocks holding above their 200-day moving average actually improved. And we've got good support levels below. So the, the bulls are hanging in there pretty strong. Now, some of that seems a little bit odd to me considering the overall condition of the markets. But, you know, with everyone going out and, and uh, working those credit cards really hard um, for the holiday sales events, um, that seems to have inspired uh, the market to con continue to hold on to that bullishness. Although we are ignoring that debt overhang that's likely to be a little bit difficult coming into the next year. So watch that close. And if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 also holding up bullishly. We had a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit less enthusiasm here on T2108, but looking at this, as you can see, we still have sufficient su support under this. So no harm here in uh, that chart. Now I'm going to skip over T2101 because we're really not getting good data on, on that. And the reason is, is we're just not seeing um, enough volume in the market to give us any reliability there. Volume here on the diamonds, quite low, as you can see. SPY was incredibly low. QQQ also very low. So uh, we're just not getting um, um, enough volume to really show us any kind of momentum to speak of. So today may be the day that that, that changes. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, this is what I've been talking about. Dug on it, ended up picking up that window again here. I apologize. Um, as you can see, um, we have a busy day today on the calendar. First thing this morning, um, it may already be out. We're going to get mortgage applications numbers. We're going to have ADP numbers out this morning. Then we're going to hit the, the big one here. Um, the GDP number um, certainly could be market moving today. Um, international trade in goods certainly has the potential to be market making. It might be interesting to keep an eye on retail sales um, inventories and wholesale sales inventories today, even though they're not typically market movers. We have more Fed speakers here today. Um, no big surprise, they just can't seem to stop talking here um, anymore. Um, as you can see, we've got um, on the day, we've got um, uh, a Bowman, we've got Cook, and then we're going to have Ger General, uh, General Powell, yeah, Jerome Powell here this afternoon. Now, keep in mind, we've got Chicago PMI, job openings report, and those pending home sales. PMI has been a problem for us. We're seeing, continuing to see contraction in our economy on our PMI. Jobs have continued to be a problem for us here um, because we're seeing those job numbers uh, maintain very strong. We need to start to see some weakness in that to help out the Fed or the Fed's going to stay, remain aggressive, I think. And then um, we know that um, real estate is starting to show some signs of weariness here in the market. So that's going to be important as well today. And then we have a petroleum status. And later on in the day, we've got the beige book to be paying attention to. So lots of data coming our way today. And as we plan forward, you'll want to keep in mind, we've got jobless claims, personal incomes and outlays. We've got PMI manufacturing, ISM manufacturing, construction spending, natural gas report on um, um, Thursday, along with um, a more Fed speak and a, a Fed um, balance sheet report. So um, whew, we've got a busy week ahead of us still. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, a little bit busy. We're short of just short of 30 companies. Um, 
um, expected to report today or verified that they will be reporting today. I'm not going to be able to cover all of the symbols here this morning. Um, so if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link in the title of the video, um, just below the title of the video. Um, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. So first off, let's talk about some retail um, five below um, reporting today so keep an eye on that this has been moving in a nice upside trend and we've been seeing a lot of retail uh, bump to the upside because of all of the data everyone spending um, hard and heavy and setting new records for black friday spending so now unfortunately what they also did is they drove credit card debt to new record highs um, and utilize the heck out of the buy now pay later so that debt overhang um, the the celebration may quickly end with a bit of a hangover holiday hangover um, of spending um, later on this year so keep an eye on that um, we're gonna hear from Hormel keep an eye on Hormel Ooh. Looks like Hormel missed um, here this morning, so watch that one close. Um, we've got a report from uh, DCI. DCI, a little pop and drop going on in that one. This has been very, very bullish uh, this morning, so keep an eye. Um, OKTA is on the list today to report. We're going to hear from CRM, maybe one of the more notables of the day uh, to be paying attention to. Um, SNPS will also be reporting uh, later on today. Uh, VSCO will be another one to watch. It's been moving in a nice upside trend here, so keep an eye on those. Once again, if you want to catch that full list of notables, make sure you click that link below the title of the video. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do that quick favor for me, this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please also do me that favor by clicking that bell icon or that thumbs up button and leaving the brief comment um, on the can um, channel that helps that algorithm um, show the engagement to the channel and I want to say thank you to everyone that takes the time to do that and also thank you for those folks who go through and comment and click the thumbs up buttons for other folks that have commented on the channel that also helps that engagement so thank you very much uh, you guys truly truly are wonderful folks I, I i really appreciate it let's take a look at um some stocks that could be setting up and keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to need to do your own due diligence be very very careful here i would expect some considerable volatility today and i would be looking for intraday whipsaws head fakes even full-on reversals that could occur and maybe even um, multiple times during the day as the data rolls out so be very very careful on the trades that you decide to take a look at or trade today um, let's um, take a peek here one of the things that i have been holding and trading and talking about in the right way options room is this trade in tlt we're starting to see um, an improvement here in our treasury bonds 20-year treasury picking back up and i am biased here i have a long position on this trade and although we've pulled back the last few days I think if this holds in this area here around 100, holds a little support in here, I would be looking for um, an addition to the trade or adding on. And what I'm looking for here is just if the market is to be in recovery, um, then we're going to see bonds start to recover. And I'm not looking for anything great here. I'm just looking for um, the 20 year treasury to maybe come about halfway back up um, from this. Uh, downtrend that we have been in um, here on the chart and that would make a bucket load of money um, if that were to occur now I don't expect that to happen in a straight line and I would expect to see quite a little bit of volatility in this still so 
remember, I'm thinking about this as more of a long-term position, not necessarily a short-term swing. But I got to tell you, I like the pattern and I like the way this is developing um, here in the market. One thing that could really help this a lot, and there's been some stories about this, is the Treasury Department is likely going to be coming out. Some estimates were around May. Um, of next year they could start doing this sooner and what the proposal is is they will dump or sell off their low um, um, interest rate bearing um, bonds that they hold and they'll be using that same money to buy up the higher interest bearing bonds creating a floor or a market under those bonds that would encourage institutions, the big banks and things like that, to start buying up bonds again. So keep an eye on that. There may be a possibility here if that starts to occur or when that starts to occur. And it may be way, you know, all, like I said, out until May even, that that may occur. So watch this closely in TLT. Certainly could be a quick swing trade. I'm looking at it as more of that longer term position. So watch that close. Now, other places you might want to look, take a look at um, RTX. Seeing um, some of the aerospace and defense stocks um, have been holding up here recently. And I pointed this out to folks in Right Way Options um, yesterday. Notice right in here, this is one heck of a uh, cup pattern here in the chart. And you can see that cup is handled out here in that um, in that move, we've broken through resistance and we got a little bullishness coming in here. As you can see, that nice little resting pattern here, popping a little bit of bullishness. You might want to keep an eye on that if that starts to push on higher here. So keep an eye on Raytheon. Pretty decent little chart here to pay attention to. Um, you might also want to keep an eye on all of these stocks that are sensitive to the US dollar. US dollar has been in a pretty substantial decline and um, we're finding a little bit of price support in here. So if we find this price support and start to perk back up a little bit, we could see some sensitivity in some of the stocks like GLD. Now I've been watching GLD for a potential entry into the trade. I like the way we've broken the downtrend here. We're rallying up, we're holding on to some price support. But this is going to be very, very dependent on how the dollar continues to respond. If we see the dollar spike back up, then I would look for gold to pull back or consolidate. If the dollar does not spike back up and fails that price support, I'm going to look for gold to move substantially higher. So keep an eye on um, GLD looking kind of interesting here in this pattern. Um, SPY, SPY, or excuse me, not SPY, SLV would be another one to pay attention to. You'll notice here that we've broken out of the downtrend here. We've crossed through some resistance. We're holding some support levels in here in the chart. Again, going to be very dependent on the move of that US dollar. If the dollar weakens, look for silver to continue this move to the upside. Watch that closely. There may be some nice opportunities there. Now, other than those two, where else can we go? Well, I'm gonna suggest um, some copper. Copper would be another place. You notice the same kind of patterns developing here in copper. I think it's gonna be very dollar dependent um, as well. Um, also, a little bit more economic dependent um, here on copper because we know copper is more of an industrial metal um, rather than a precious metal. But keep an eye on that carefully because a weakening dollar would likely send uh, copper prices higher. Now, let's also take a look at what we have seen here in some of our energy prices. Now, I was biased in this for a long time. I held a nice position in here, made a huge profit on um, holding XLE over a longer period of time. Now we've kind of gone into this resting choppy pattern here in the market. It's really gonna be dependent on what happens, I think, with the dollar and how this conflict um, in um, Ukraine and Russia continues to play out? Um, we also have the administration's decisions on uh, drilling and oil and gas and leasing the public lands and things like that that are having a pretty substantial impact here, along with 
worries in, uh, of potential demand destruction um, that could be coming into play, particularly next year as um, some of those bond prices right now are suggesting a pretty substantial um, recession may be on its way. Now, looking, um, looking at that chart, I think it's kind of 50-50, but I don't want to give up on... Um, um, energy here just yet as you can see we're holding a pretty decent level of support if we can break out of this little downtrend here again and hold a higher low then we might still see some upside here and there are stories out there there is reason to believe that there may be more upside potential next year in energy prices so keep a close eye on that and you may want to be looking at some of those um, energy stocks out there. Other places, take a look at um, some of the retail um, out there yesterday. We had Macy's putting in a really nice pattern here, um, rallying up, nice little consolidating, tight consolidating move here in the chart. Certainly we've got resistance out here to worry about, but we're seeing quite a little bit of um, retail bump due to all of those Black Friday sales. Um, Target made a nice recovery here after pulling back. We're trying to break out of this downtrend. You can see it was selling off yesterday morning. Those numbers came out on retail and we perked right back up here um, on that trade. So keep an eye. If we can hold above this downtrend, hold a higher low, then I would look maybe for some upside potential in some of these retail stocks. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening today. Apologize I went just a little bit long here this morning. I want to wish you all the best. Be careful. Watch for considerable volatility today. Protect your capital. Um, and I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.